Hello everyone, Bill Adams, Realtor, Caldwell Banker Realty. Joining us today is Brandon Collinwood and Jeremy Benson, the owners of Easy to RV. Welcome, Brandon. Thanks, Bill. Jeremy. Pleasure. Thanks for joining us today. Mm -hmm. Let's start by you telling us about your business, Easy to RV. So Easy to RV started out as uh, Brandon and I enjoying time with our families. And honestly, we wanted to share that with others. And so we've got some pretty big toy haulers. Each of us have uh, a fair amount of kids. I've got four and two dogs, and he's got five kids. And uh, we, we've got some off-road toys. And so we like to put the off-road toys in the toy haulers uh -huh. and going out in the mountains, the desert, and go camping and exploring and letting the kids drive and having all sorts of fun. And so we wanted other families to have that same opportunity. Uh-huh. All right. So... What does Easy to RV do? So it, it, it's it's pretty straightforward, honestly, Bill. We have two massive toy haulers uh -huh. that will fit anything you want inside of them, as far as an off-road toy goes, uh -huh. and uh, as well as sleep a lot of bodies. Well, um, each trailer, they're, they're both identical trailers. They only uh -huh. vary by one year, um, and each trailer has three queen beds and a full bed, and so you can sleep a lot of people and put a car in there and. Uh, you rent the trailers directly from us, come to our location, pick up the trailer. We give you a full tour of all the things, how it works, and mm -hmm. get the trailer all set up correctly on your vehicle. Wish you well, and then bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> any kind of uh, qualification? Like me, I know nothing about any of that stuff. You don't want me showing up and renting <laughs> one of your toy haulers. Well, we did have a guy try and show up in a Jeep once to try and pull away, and uh, uh -huh. that, that wasn't going to work out. With our trailers, you do need at least a three-quarter ton truck because uh -huh. they're they're not light. They're about 1,200 pounds on the uh, the back end of the truck, so we got to make sure <laughs> that your truck can take care of it. But also, we do ask that people do have a little bit of experience, uh -huh. um, and if they don't, that's okay. We'll still help them out and walk them through and give them more experience before they drive away. Mm -hmm. um, but we also offer some insurance to help with that as well for each individual on a, on a daily basis. They're able to have some insurance through us that allows them to drive a little easier, uh -huh. uh, not having to worry too much. So. Yeah. so a typical rental, is that uh, a weekend, a week, mm -hmm. or I guess it varies? Both. We've, yeah. we've got some clients that go for a weekend. We've got other clients that go for three weeks. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've got a client who has uh, one of the trailers rented for two and a half weeks in October for a hunting trip. Oh, and wow. so I I don't remember if he told us where he was going or not, but every year he so rents one of our trailers. I know, I know, <laughs> I know, but this is going to be the third year he's rented from us mm -hmm. just to go camping. Wow. Yeah, that's great. So it sounds like there's got to be, uh, you know, some moments that stand out with uh i mean like the jeep guy right but uh yeah tell me yeah. tell me yeah. one of the memorable okay. uh moments um, that you had so part of the reason we have as big a trailers as we do is because you like brandon said you do have to rent these and have a three-quarter ton or bigger truck typically a diesel truck because they're heavy mm -hmm. i mean empty they're nine thousand pounds the reason we do that is because we found that people who have those trucks generally have them because they tow trailers. Otherwise, you'd just buy a half-ton truck, yeah. right? They know what they're doing. <laughs> right. That's generally what happens. Not always. Um, I won't discuss the client's name, but we did have a client rent one of our trailers that broke it from end to end and then scratched all along the side, put four tears in the top, and all these other things. Wow. You know, that's obviously the risk we run as a business. Yep. Um, he is currently blacklisted, and we will never rent to him again. Um, I hope he never sees this. Uh, but, you know, that's the risk you run. You know, mm -hmm. we, we ask clients to bring it back in the condition they got it in, and they're in good condition, so we expect it back that way. And honestly, we've got some amazing renters. Uh, we've got some that, we got one client that books every holiday throughout the entire year at once. Oh, yeah. nice. He's like, I don't want to deal with my own, having my own trailer. I'm just going to book all of yours. You guys have great trailers, great service, and you always take care of me. And so he literally books every holiday throughout the entire dune season. Ah, that's super. There's other memorable stuff, too. We had uh, we had one client that had a relative that was had become ill. And so they decided to rent our trailers to kind of go out on a, uh, a good trip as a family. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, just hearing about that when they came back was definitely one of the more rewarding things as to why we do this and help people have that experience. I mean, we named it Easy to RV just because we wanted to make it easier for people to be able to get out there and have fun experiences. Yeah, interesting. And we've, had, we've actually had clients that um, are handicapped in a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. And they rented from us because we have a toy hauler. And the family, the part of the family that isn't in a wheelchair still brought their toys. But because of the toy hauler, they were able to get their wheelchair up into the trailer. Uh-huh. And it worked out great mm-hmm. for them. Okay. Well, what are some of the challenges that you face in your business? <laughs> uh, jacks. The stabilizer jacks in the trailer. That is the biggest challenge in our business. People forget to put them up. <laughs> oh. And they drive away and they break. Or, or they're going a little too off the beaten path, and the rear stabilizer jacks are on the very tail end of the trailer, and they hit a bump just a little too deep, and it scrapes them right off the bottom of the frame. Yeah. That's probably yeah. the biggest challenge. Yeah. <laughs> we may or may not have an extra one on hand and most of the time. So and then you have to go into the field and do the repair? No, or? that type of repair, honestly, the last time, <laughs> well, I'll tell you this, the last time I did it, um, my then 12 year old daughter helped me do that because I'm a firm believer in having the family all help out. Uh-huh. And so she was under the trailer with me and wrenches and the impact and unbolting the old one and bolting the new one on and I had to wire it and uh-huh. it's a family affair. Yeah. Mean, obviously we'd rather not go out into the field to do some of these fixes, but we have taken care of our customers when they're with I mean, we had one that he darn near broke both axles and we had to, to get up there uh, we have, it was uh, Forest up in Forest Lakes area, area, I think yeah. it was, and we had to completely detach all the axles and put all new suspension in there right at the Memorial right Day weekend. Their campground. Memorial Ooh, Day weekend. Yeah, so, and, and we don't, we'd rather not do that, but we're never going to leave anybody behind. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to be uh, accused of uh, nope. their demise, right? Well, <laughs> that's not a good experience. No. <laughs> and we even had, we even had over Fourth of July weekend a couple of years ago. We had a gentleman break a leaf spring, which on a big trailer is not terribly uncommon. He hit a massive pothole and one of the leaf springs broke. Left him on the side of the road in New Mexico. Mm-hmm. And so on the 4th of July weekend, I had to get in the car, throw all the parts we needed and the jack and everything in the car and drive to New Mexico, switch, change it on the side of the road so he could continue on with his trip. Uh-huh. That's the yeah. service you're going to get with us. Yeah. So my next question as far as what kind of feedback do you get from your customers that they like about your business? I can, I mean, you've already touched on quite a few, uh, pretty obvious. Uh, <laughs> we have a lot else? of return business, yeah, you know, and business. we honestly don't do a whole lot of advertising. A lot of it's word of mouth. Mm-hmm. Um, the problem we run into is the guys that find us and like us don't want to tell their friends about us because then they won't have a trailer. Yep. Gotcha. <laughs> They're trying to keep their availability open next trip which is part of the reason that one client of ours books the entire year yeah so he's not fighting his buddies for those holiday weekends (laughs) (laughs) his buddies usually book the other Mm trip so So what motivates you guys honestly it's just having fun Uh you know is there maintenance on these things absolutely keeping the brakes work axles greased and everything inside working properly that part of it is fun, but knowing that those who rent from us mm-hmm. are making memories with their families. Super, super. So, speaking of families and work, mm-hmm. what do you guys do for fun? <laughs> use the trailers. <laughs> <laughs> we may or may not have those because we like to use them ourselves. So, uh-huh. yeah, we, 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 that's lost revenue, right? That's, yeah. You know what? No, I would, I will, I will trade revenue over memories any day of the week. Uh, well put. Well put. All right. Well, it sounds like a great business and a great balance between business and family and fun. I appreciate you guys spending time with us today. Mm-hmm. Brandon, thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Jeremy, hey folks, you want to have fun? Reach out to these guys. <laughs> they have a great business to get you out there RVing. Uh, please reach out to Brandon and Jeremy at Easy2RV. This is Bill Adams, Caldwell Banker Realty.